I love teaching. So when I think of the future, I'm super happy because when I started dancing in my life, it was to be a dancer. My dream as a little child was to dance. So I entered in tango through the performing and the dancing and the, and the personal expression. But I discovered the teaching and, um, and the wonderful thing about teaching is that you don't need to be young and fresh to do it. It's even better to have experience. So I don't see why I should, why, what would make me stop teaching. This is no, no matter. What would make me stop dancing is, uh, is a serious thing because I already had stopped and I'm ready to stop any time. Uh, because for me, uh, dancing and tango, because I chose tango, or tango chose me, if you want to put it mystical, um, is a mean to be happy in life. I mean, I dance to be happy, and I chose this channel in my life to achieve balance. So if it becomes, it's not a goal, it's, it's, a, it's a way of life. So at some point of my life, it happened that I had to, to realize that it was making me very unhappy, and the balance was negative. And then all of a sudden, it's, uh, what, what am I doing this for? So I uh, accept all the bad sides, I do, and they're, it's a heavy thing. Tango is heavy in our lives. It, it's not always uh, wonderful and marvelous. So I do accept the weight, but it should never be uh, putting me in a place that I, I'm more unhappy. So I'm very aware of um, why I, I choose that every day. So if at some point I feel very unhappy, I can stop. I can stop everything, a lot of things, really. So that. Mm. Yeah, for me, talking about accomplishments, um, I hope it will never arrive the day in which I, I, I would feel that I, I, I got somewhere, because that, that would be the mark of stopping. Um, the thing that uh, we are always searching a new way to to express uh, a deeper way, a wider way. From um, an artistic point of view, finding inspiration in the um, in uh, challenging yourself and taking ideas. And from a social point of view, which uh, I also care a lot, is this of this mystery of the communication. The day that everything would be spoiled, everything would be too too clear, that you don't have anything, uh, any any more mystery in this of communicating with people that you don't know or that you are wondering what they are thinking. What this might be the end of something that it's uh, for me deeply based on um, on the unknown and on the transcendence of communication.